Hello and welcome to this seventh in a series of instructional videos about the ease of access environment in Windows 10. Now the ease of access environment is where we're going to be able to make a host of changes to more personalize our Windows experience. So for example, if you have a hearing or visual or physical impediment, this is the location where we're going to be able to make most of those changes. Now, before I go ahead, I'd like to ask you to please hit the subscribe button to our channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of any further videos, please hit the notification icon bell. Now, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at the hearing section, in particular audio. So without further ado, let's get started. OK, so we're going to be looking at the hearing section in ease of access. In this case, we're going to be looking at the audio. So as always, we're going to come down to the bottom left here and we're going to click on the start button, which looks like a Windows icon. If you hover the mouse over that, it will say start. I'm going to left click on start. And by the way, everything is a left click unless I say otherwise. Very rarely need to do a right click always a left click. Bring the mouse pointer up to this cog and it says settings. So let's left click on settings. Now we're in the window setting environment. This is going to be our springboard to make a host of changes throughout the operating system to either make it better or more personalized or whatever. If you do make any changes, please keep a notebook. So for example, I always keep one next to my computer. So whenever I make some system changes, I write down what the settings was before I made the change, what I changed them to. That way, if I'm not happy with what I've done, I can revert back to it. Or if it's playing something up, causing a problem, again, I can revert back to it. But we're going to be looking at the ease of access. So let's click on that. We're currently in a display, so we've already looked at the vision and every option in there. If you've missed those videos, please go back and watch those if you, if you want to. I've done one video on each of these. Now we're looking at audio. So let's click on audio. Audio section is basic. We've only got three options essentially. First one is going to be the change device volume. And that's going to be no different than you changing your device volume than you would normally. So in my instance, it would be from the keys on the keyboard. So for example, I'm going to increase the sound. There we go. And now I'm going to decrease the sound. Exactly the same. There's, no, there's nothing special there. We can left click and hold the left button down over the slider and we can slide that backwards and forwards. Change the device or app volume. We'll talk about that in a minute. Change other sound settings. Again, we'll talk about that in a minute. Turn on mono audio. Now you might be asking yourself, why on earth would I want to listen to anything in mono? Stereo is so much more engaging, so much more vibrant. Why mono? Well, there is a couple of reasons why you would want to use mono. And one of those would be, for example, if you have a, a, an impediment or a disability of some kind, that, that would throw you off from having a left and a right channel. So stereo works by a left channel and a right channel. And for example, we would hear a guitar in, say, the left ear and drums in the right ear or somebody singing, one person singing in the left ear and another person singing in the right ear. So that's there. This can be off-putting to some people. This can be disturbing to them. So they would want to hear, have it in mono. That way they would hear exactly the same experience in their left ear as they would in their right ear. There would be no difference at all. Don't know if you've ever had it where you've had listened to a stereo and it's kind of sounds as though 
Say for example, like an airplane or a car going past, and it might sound as though it's going from your left to the right here, and it's almost as though the sound's traveling through your head. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That this, some people don't like that. Now, the other option, the other reason you might want to have mono is say for example, one of your speakers, or if you're listening in headphones, one of the drivers in in those speakers or the headphones isn't working. So you've only got say the left ear working or the left speaker working. You, in stereo, you would be missing out on half the experience. So you would choose mono and you would get the same experience that you would have in your left and the right coming through that one speaker. So that's another instance where mono would be preferable. There are others, but again, that's outside the remit of this video. Then we have finally in this one, we have show audio alerts visually. Now, normally if you receive uh, an email or um, a message of some kind, you would hear like a, a bell, like a ding or a buzz or whatever option you've chosen. What we can do is we can choose to either have no visual alerts, which is what I normally have, or we can choose to have flash the title bar of the active window. Now the active window would be, for example, what we're watching now on the screen here, or it would be if we're looking at um, a, a website. So that page, the title bar at the top of that page would then flash. Flash the active window. So if you had two active windows open, which you can have it side by side, the one that you're currently watching would be classed as the active window. And that would be, give a, that window, entire window would flash. Other option would be to flash the entire screen. So you could have two active windows open, but the entire screen would flash instead. That would be handy, especially if you um, have a hearing impediment or you're deaf, you would have that, that option there to notify you. Now let's come back to change the device app or volume. Takes us to another screen. Now, really we don't need to get into this, but I wanted to show you this. Choose your output device. If your computer is a store-bought computer off the shelf, most likely you're gonna have just the one sound card. I have a desktop where I have the built-in sound card, often built into to the device, but I've added an additional sound card, which is an improved quality. So in my desktop, I would have a choice of sound, sound cards, but in this laptop, which is off the shelf, like probably yours is, You'll see now that I've clicked this, I've only got the one sound card in this device. Master volume, exactly the same as we discussed in the previous about the volume. Troubleshoot, we can click troubleshoot and we can ask Microsoft to try and fix the problem for us. The rest of this stuff here is out the remit of this video, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. You can have a look at that yourself and play around with it if you want but make a note of the settings so you can change it back later. Now we're back to our original screen. Change other sound settings. This is where we can make a, uh, some other changes, but again, we're outside the remit of this video. You can play around with here if you want to. Uh, you'll see that it says Windows default, so you can always go back to that if you want to. But again, make a note of any changes you, you make. So I'm gonna close that down. Over here, we have sound settings. That would just take us to where we've just been. Fix a sound problem. Again, that would just take us to some suggestions on how to fix a sound problem. Let's close that down. Then we have get help. So Windows would offer you a series of, of help, quest, potential questions that you might ask. Failing that, you can also then, then find out for more detailed help. Give feedback, just basically let exactly what it says, let them know what you thought of the uh, this particular app. So there we have the change the volume, 
the mono and the visual alerts. So I hope you found this informative. Thank you for watching.